Coming up, we inadvertently free some cows, taste cheddar in cheddar, and hike up Britain's deepest gorge. From the top to the bottom of the island, we go home. We're heading to the great unknown. Yeah, we're pedaling south from the highlands of John and Groves. We're heading out on I don't quite know if we're gonna make it home. Hello. Oh no, maybe they're going in the wrong direction now. Are they supposed to go in that way? It was a glorious sunny start to our 29th day on the road. We were headed down the coast of the Bristol Channel, where we would turn inland at Clevedon to join up with the popular cycle trail known as the Strawberry Line. Strawberry Line! Strawberry Line! The Strawberry Line takes its name from the delicious cargo this former railway line carried from the strawberry fields of Cheddar. The line was well used for nearly a century until its closure in 1965. Since then, a wealth of wildlife habitats have been allowed to flourish and in 1983, work began converting the line into the wonderful walking and cycling route we see today. We would be taking this route from Yatton until Cheddar. 20 kilometers of traffic-free, well-maintained, and most importantly, flat cycling paradise. That's awesome! Apple orchards! <laughs> On the strawberry line! I think we've arrived at what smells like a brewery, a cider brewery. It is, oh, oh, what do we have right in front of us? What cider is supposed to taste like. We had arrived at Myrtle Farm, the home of Thatcher's Cider. Unfortunately, we had arrived on the wrong day so we couldn't take the tour and discover the secrets of the cider making process. But we certainly knew where we could find a tasting a few miles down the road. The following morning we made our way into a village we were most looking forward to visiting. A village that gives its name to and is the birthplace of one of the world's most popular and delicious cheeses. The village of Cheddar. Welcome to Cheddar! 
cheddar has been producing its signature cheese here for nearly a thousand years and we were super excited to taste this history. Smokes cheddar. Yummy. Mature cheddar. Yummy. Extra mature cheddar. <laughs> okay, these two. Lovely. <laughs> That's what you want. We start off with this nice mature cheddar. Mature cheddar from cheddar. My fingers are so dirty. Mm. It's really nice and, and mature. This is really nice and mature. It's got a lovely taste to it. It's really nice. <laughs> and then afterwards, we're going to taste the smoked cheddar. And you see the made in cheddar. Mm -hmm. Smoked cheddar. Mm. Yeah, I think this is this is the one. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really big, the block. <laughs> <laughs> cheddar for breakfast. Okay, go on, tell me how it is. Smoked, smoky. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, good. Mm. It's creamy mm -hmm. and smoky. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the one. Mm. I lost a bit. We were delighted with our tasty, cheesy cheddar breakfast, but cheese is not the only thing this village is famous for. With its dramatic cliffs rising over 450 feet above the village below, Cheddar Gorge is Britain's biggest and most spectacular gorge. This stunning landscape is designated as an area of outstanding natural beauty and is the site of an extensive cave system that includes the largest underground river system in Britain. These ancient caverns were also the home to our prehistoric ancestors. Cheddar Man, Britain's oldest complete skeleton, was discovered here in 1903 and dates back to the Mesolithic era 9,100 years ago. It was time to give our pedals a rest and head for the best view in Somerset. Good morning. We took a break from the bicycles for a half day and uh, look where we are now. View from up here. You can see the reservoir here. This is Cheddar Village down there. And this is the highest gorge in England. So it was definitely worth stopping by and climbing up and checking it out. And it's good to be off the bikes for a little bit and and hiking up hills again. It's amazing the views you get when you come off the bike and, and do a bit of hiking. <laughs> and the little goats <laughs> just hanging out, relaxing. Nature! After an awesome day full of highlights, we continued on through Bridgewater and made camp in our favourite of all settings, the peaceful and familiar towpath of a canal. We were home again. The following day, we continued our way through Somerset and towards the Devon border. It was a smooth start to the morning as the rare English sun continued to shine down on us for another day.
but the trail ahead soon turned into a test for our legs. And up here again. <laughs> Go on then, time to push. We had started to encounter the notorious hills of the southwest. The real life of a cyclist who doesn't have enough leg muscles to go uphill. I think that our next trip will be on a motorbike. Yes, <laughs> but the struggle was worth it, as by the end of the day, we had climbed our way onto the moors of Exmoor National Park. I think it's that way. Explore National Park. <laughs> <sighs> we have arrived. It was a really, really tough day. Very coming, challenging. Yeah, coming into Devon from Somerset and it starts getting crazy hilly. It's just, uh, we climbed a thousand meters today, <laughs> um, which I think is the it's most, a, it's our highest the most we've climbed in a day. So yeah, it's been a pretty crazy day. The thighs are pretty burning. We knew that there were hills coming in the southwest, but this is crazy. I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow, but we did manage to get up on the moors and we found an amazing, amazing camp. Got gorse around, got some, got some what I think is heather here. Nice, nice flower in front of our tent. Got the tent and the bikes all set up. Lavi's just cooking up some dinner. What's what are you having, Lavi? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Woo but this time we've still got some leftover cheese. Cheddar cheese. From cheddar, we got some smoked and some mature. We got some corn. <laughs> Yummy! Sorry. I was waiting for this the whole day. <laughs> the cam camera just died. I just charged it up a tiny bit. Um, yes, um, corn, corn cocktail sausages, mashed potato, some cheddar cheese from cheddar, some peas, mm. dried peas, oh and God, look at that. Well, we've had this quite a few times, but it's still amazing. You never can get sick of this one here. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So anyway, we will see how it goes tomorrow. Let's see um, how we get on. Good night. Next time, we cross the wild expanse of Exmoor National Park, battle our way through the hills of Devon and Cornwall, and discover the taste sensation of the Cornish pasty. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time.